What's up, I'm King. Welcome back to another video. Pause, make sure to like and subscribe, and while you're to click that notification bell so you do not miss the next video. I post at least twice a week, and you don't want to miss it, so go subscribe. So today we are doing a what I eat in a day. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so for breakfast, um, I started off by washing and cutting some strawberries. Um, I actually really love strawberries. Like, I can literally eat strawberry anything. Strawberry cake, strawberry ice cream, strawberry in general. I love strawberry. Whenever you're dealing with fruits or vegetables, always make sure to wash them. Um, I also cut up some banana. Um, I actually really don't like banana at all unless it's like a candy or a popsicle. But bananas are really good for you, so I had one. I always try and get my vegetables and fruits in in the morning because that is the easiest time to get them in. And I don't really eat that much in the morning, so it's always good to have those types of things in the morning. So with my bananas and strawberries, I put in some whipped cream for added sweetness. And I love whipped cream, and I also, again, don't really like bananas. So putting whipped cream on the bananas helped me, like, you know, eat them. <laughs> And I can't forget the coffee because that is very essential for Melina. I also had some pepperoni and raisin toast, but for some reason you don't see the raisin toast in the video because I didn't record it. But I also had that. I like to get as much um, protein in in the morning as I can. <laughs> Also, if you didn't know, I'm actually allergic to milk, and I always have a non-dairy creamer or milk in the morning with my coffee. So, because I started off the day with some fruit, I decided to carry it on to lunch with some healthy vegetables, so we cut up some onions also had some fresh celery so i decided to add that in for more vegetables Once we added the onions and the celery to the pan, we decided to add some chicken for extra protein because we love our protein, especially Brandon. He cannot go a day without any meat. <laughs> I 
I think the only like seasonings we added into the vegetables was pepper and salt. <laughs> For the chicken, we added in some onion powder. Pepper. Mrs. Dash. And seasoning salt. I also decided to throw in some cheese for a topping. Let me just tell you, this lunch was so freaking good. I recommend making it at home. It was so delicious. We also decided to have some chips with it, and that was our lunch. Dinners are always, like, interesting. Um, today, I had some ramen and some leftovers from lunch because we did not finish it. But dinners are usually, like, random, whatever you can find. Brandon ended up having a hungry man for his dinner. Okay, so if you don't know, I put a lot of seasonings in my ramen. I put some seasoning salt. White salt. Pepper. and garlic powder. I usually also put curry powder, but today I just didn't do that. And while I waited for my ramen to cook, I ate the rest of the leftovers. And that's the end of the video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And click that notification bell because subscribing isn't enough for you guys to get notified. And if you would like to get notified, make sure the bell looks like this. Um, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!